Hello, welcome back to Proactive Investors. I'm Karen Tan, and joining me in the Sydney studio today is Dr. Mohammed Chakir from Archer Exploration Limited. Hi, Mohammed, how are you? I'm um, good, thanks. Lovely to see you again. Good to be back. Now, you've always been busy, I know, in your uh, inventor's studio, but you've completed the first component of a quantum chip this time, I believe. Can you explain the significance of this step? Yeah, so this aligns with our quantum technology vertical and our 1-2-CQ project to build a qubit processor. A qubit processor is the core of a quantum computer and the significance of the recent announcement that we've made is that we've started building the chip and the first stage assembly of the chip has been completed. How excited are you? Oh, pretty stoked. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, and now we've got a really good image of this to illustrate it. Can you explain what we're seeing in the image? So what, what we're seeing in the image right now are the uh, basic componentry that we've started to put together on a silicon wafer. And the chip itself measures only a few uh, human hairs across. So you can imagine uh, that something so small could be so powerful. It's quite exciting. So what's the importance of a chip like this to everyday life? So I don't think I can overemphasize the importance of getting it right. Uh, and you know, if we end up building a chip like this and, and having quantum computing available at room temperature and being easily integrated into modern technology, it means just that, that businesses and consumers would have access to technology um, that's powered by quantum computing. And it has the potential to service industries reliant on AI, service industries reliant on blockchain and, and cryptocurrencies and security. So there's a, a very big potential for it to, to impact global markets. Now, um, so that was a big breakthrough today and big news. So it's a very, um, not slow, but the process takes some time. So how do you see the Archer 12CQ project unfolding now? What are the next steps? We've been quite, uh, let's just say, rapid in our progress, I believe. I feel certain that we have been in that in December, we, uh, we obtained the exclusive license agreement with the University of Sydney uh, in, Feb in December last year. In February, we, we brought on board uh, Dr. Martin Fuchsler, who's our quantum technology manager, uh, who's in, in those uh, clean rooms that we've signed uh, an access agreement uh, with the University of Sydney to access the uh, the research and prototype foundry in the Sydney Nanoscience Hub, where we now have access to you know, this purpose-built $150 million facility to build these chips. And uh, yeah, so Martin has been in there and, and this is the first stage that has been completed. So, uh, you know, we're moving quite, quite rapidly and, and um, this is the first stage now and here we are. Uh, just before uh, the end of the financial year, uh, pleased to report to, to our shareholders that we've completed the first stage of development. Absolutely. And I wasn't suggesting that it was slow to get to this stage more, that um, it's, a, it's great that you're at this stage, but now we've got a lot to, um, to unfold in, in a timeline ahead. Mm. So what do you see as the timeline unfolding uh, in the next 12 months, for example? Well, it's a lot easier for us now to talk about this, that we have something tangible. Uh, like I said, this chip is the size of a few human hairs. Uh, I, I remember that we etched in the, the Archer logo, which is probably even, even smaller than that. Uh, so uh, over the next quarter uh, in Q1, uh, we'll be looking to continue uh, that technology de-risking through the value added development. And this is absolutely critical, uh, especially as we move into uh, discussions with potential uh, commercial partners uh, along the product stack, uh, whether it be software developers or original equipment manufacturers uh, from you know, highly resourced organizations or SMEs around the country and the world. So it's quite exciting for us and, and we're really looking forward to uh, the next three, six, nine and, and 12 months. So it is a very specialized project you're working on and a specialized company really. What sort of investors would be interested in investing in Archer? Well, Archer provides shareholders uh, exposure to innovative technologies like quantum technology, like quantum computing, and importantly, the advanced materials that underpin these technologies. Excellent. Well, uh, any other news flow that we can expect in the new financial year at this point? Well, uh, at the moment, uh, we, we will continue working on uh, developing the, the chip uh, and, and putting those pieces together. And of course, just like if you bought a house off the plan, you'd like to see progress with the house being built. And so we'll, we'll update uh, as and when that information is made available to us and, and we'll get there uh, as soon as we can. We look forward to it. We look forward to seeing how it unfolds um, every step of the way. So lovely to hear your update today and thanks for your time. No problem. My pleasure. That's Dr. Mohammed Chakir from Archer Exploration Limited.